Tommy Zvarna showed neither vengeance nor compassion toward his executed assailant. But then Tommy Zvarnas has hardly felt any emotion since James Autry gunned him down four years ago. He is a melancholy fixture at a neighborhood donut shop in Brickstown, New Jersey. The regulars here know only a muted personality. A 38 slug shattered against his spinal cord, transforming a once robust Greek seaman into now a 30-year-old child. The lone survivor of Autry's killing spree passes life in a corner booth, sipping coffee and chain smoking. Incapable of even small talk, he offers polite hellos and goodbyes. And he just sits for hours, staring into nowhere. You changed my brother's life like baby. Tommy's brother provides meager support on painter's wages. Collection agencies still call about unpaid bills from a six-month hospital recovery. Nobody looking look around like this and say, hey, this guy in the ground, I want to do something to help him. Because that guy, he's a gold you he got everything. He's got anything you want. If you say, or three, you say, hey, I got a pain, my hair. Somebody who comes to the, the doctor, jail doctor, to check him. Who's come to check my brother? Nobody. Tommy Zvon has followed his brother and the American Dream to our shores from a small Greek village near Mount Olympus. His life here reads like a Greek tragedy. He was seeking citizenship at the time of the shooting. Now, after applying for federal therapeutic aid, his brother says immigration threatens to deport Tommy because he might become a public charge. Tommy Zvarnas, lame in body and mind, may again become a victim. Robert Riggs, Channel 8 News, Bricktown, New Jersey.